All right, guys. <laughs> so we're really excited to have you come out to Needles in the Hay this weekend. Um, we've got lots of people that are looking forward to meeting you. Um, Jolyn, what are you wearing right now? Oh, I'm wearing the Love Notes by Tinky and Knits. And um, what colorways did you pick for your sweater? Both, both the mohair and the fingering weight are in spruce. Um, and what are you wearing, Carrie? Uh, this is Daydreamer by Andrea Mowry, and it is in quartz, uh, 8020, 8020 and mohair. And you're going to be bringing both of those samples with you this weekend too, yeah. right? So tell us a little bit about the name. Like what made you decide to name your brand Leo and Rock? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, Leo is uh, Jolyn's sheep, it was her first sheep, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've got three sheep, three Ramboulet. Okay. Roxy is one of my parrots. Uh, uh, she's a green cheek conure, so it's Leo and Roxy. And then the tagline from flock to you, they're both flock animals, so we add that as well. So a lot of people like dream of having their own sheep and things like that. So what made you, <laughs> what made you finally take the plunge and like go for it? Um, I went to a guild meeting and they brought this uh, baby, I think he was only maybe about a month old. He was born out of season and I asked if I could buy him. <laughs> <laughs> have a farm already or is that like... We have a little bit of a hobby farm but I wasn't ready for a sheep. I called my friend who had goats and said, "Can if I get a sheep, can it live with your goats until I get a proper pen set up <laughs> and get them there? And they they are flock. They are flock animals, so they need, they need somebody else. So um, he was born out of season. So he was born in September, and came to us in about November, I think. What is your color inspiration? Like, what what makes you guys tick? When I first started knitting with a capital K, um, I was really drawn to hedgehog, hedgehog. Oh flowers. yeah and their colorways and so I guess maybe that's always been in the back of my head of achieving those crazy brights um, but we like subdued stuff too I mean yeah this quartz is one of our one of our best ones, sellers this pale pink mm -hmm. um but yeah we definitely definitely like a lot <laughs> we do like a lot of color and we use a lot of color but um when we were naming the company we used roxy as our inspiration for color so the parrots and and mm -hmm. stuff like that That's true. and um but we also knew we wanted to end up with a more natural line so that was kind of part of it too was leo um, um be um the natural undyed or like or subdued and then Roxy the mm -hmm. that seems like forever ago it does <laughs> <laughs> okay so leo represents kind of like the origins of knitting a little bit and Roxy is like brings more of the sort of present flair of the knitting yeah. community yeah um because there's a lot there's a lot of patterns out right now that's you know fingering held with mohair and um mm. we find a lot of people are interested in making them so we've got lots of yeah. mohair coming with us lots fun mohair quiet mohair and then all the mohair and uh, that's is that a silk mohair then? Like a, it like, is, yeah. yeah. It's 75-25 mohair and silk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The 80-20. This is a merino cashmere silk sample with mohair. This is the Audra shawl. I don't know if that can be and seen. And that's Amber O'Brien? That's, yes. that's right. Yeah. That's gorgeous. Yeah. So we'll be bringing kits for this Yeah, as well. It's a... It's a beautiful, nice, beautiful nice shawl. shawl. And what else are we bringing? We're bringing some super bulky. Ooh, that's really squishy looking. Yeah, it's yeah. amazing. <laughs> and do, what do we do for that? Uh, hat Oops. Big chunky hats. That's gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> On quickness. Yeah, nice project, yeah. We'll be bringing our, our organic new. line, our eco uh, wool cotton line as well. And that is behind us. <laughs> like and that's light. your that's your newest line, right? It is. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. That's our newest line. It's um, 
uh, 70% eco wool and 30% organic cotton. And um, it comes in four natural colors. And then we've dyed six, six subtle, almost heathered colors to mm -hmm. go with it. Just a really simple color palette. Um, but the combinations have been great. We're doing knit along right now yeah. uh, since the launch. And uh, so that's Hohe's. Ooh. Some, yeah. Yeah. Some, some Baba simple <laughs> summer sweater. And that's in two shades of the natural colors. But we've had some people, well, I'm doing it in um, two dyed colors. Yeah, the, the juniper and the clay, the green and the clay. clay. I don't even know what to call it. <laughs> Terracotta ish. Yeah. Um, yeah. We've had some people doing Do natural and purple and yeah the natural and purple looks really nice yeah yeah mm -hmm. nice to knit with and uh, nice stitch definition and go higher <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm here. Can yeah. You, see that? you can't what? see it can you see I, this just a little low just a little higher put it up more by your head oh yeah that's better <laughs> <laughs> so that's uh yeah so we're really happy with this base we've had um some great feedback from it and uh, yeah. yeah, more of the Leo end. Well, we're really looking forward to meeting you this weekend and uh, can't wait to see all your yarn and samples. I'm sure our clients are really gonna love it. And uh, thanks for chatting with us this morning. Well, thanks for yes. having us. Yeah, we're looking forward to it. <laughs>